In this video, we're going to look at a second type of organic molecule uh, drawing called a condensed structural diagram. So if you're not comfortable yet drawing structural diagrams, make sure you go back and review that skill before watching this video. So a condensed structural diagram has the atoms that are bonded to a single carbon grouped together. So the difference between this type of diagram and a structural diagram is that in a structural diagram, we're seeing every single bond possible, whereas in a condensed structural diagram, we're only looking at those carbon-carbon bonds. So we're going to look at the structure of butane to get started. So C4H10. I'm going to draw the structural diagram of butane first so that we have that to compare. So butane has a four carbon backbone. Uh, there are 10 hydrogens, so three hydrogens on each of our end carbons and two on each of our carbons in the middle of the chain. So that gives us 10. We can see lots going on and we see that we have every single type of bond drawn. So this would be a structural diagram. In a condensed structural diagram, we're essentially going to take these hydrogens and we're going to collapse them onto this carbon. So our first carbon has three hydrogens and we're going to write that as CH3. Now there's a single bond to our second carbon, so we're going to write CH2 because that second carbon there has two hydrogens. Our third carbon has two hydrogens and our fourth has three. So here we have our condensed structural diagram. We're going to look at another example, this time one with branches. So we can see the two different ways we can represent branch structures in a condensed structural diagram. So I'm going to start by drawing out our structural diagram and I'm going to use the same molecule as last time. So last time we used 4-ethyl, 3-methyl, octane. So I'll draw out our structural diagram first. As we can tell from our structural diagram, this is pretty messy and hard to read. So we're going to use two different types of condensed structural diagrams to more cleanly represent this structure. The first is going to be just like what we did in the last slide. Uh, so we're going to start with our group on the end. So we have a CH3 and I'll draw my backbone first. Then I have a CH2. Then I have two CH groups. So these have one fewer carbon because they are one fewer hydrogen because they have a carbon attached followed by three CH2s. I've run out of room here, so I'm just going to drop this down. So that's my backbone. And attached to my backbone, I'm going to have two branches. At carbon three, I'll have a CH3. And at carbon four, I'll have a CH2 and a CH3. So these two groups here, CH3, CH2, CH3, we call these branches. And we can represent them in a, in a second way. And this you'll see less frequently, but you may see, so we just want to go over it. So we're going to draw the same structure, CH3, CH2, CH. But then I'm going to put brackets in. And I'm going to write the branch still within the line. But this bracket structure means that this is a branch off of the third carbon in my chain. And then in this branch, I have a CH2, CH3 group. And then I have just the rest of my chain. So four or three CH2s and a CH3. So again, this structure here, this is a branch off of C4. So you'll see either way for our condensed structural diagrams. Um, this second way is going to be less common but you may see it pop up from time to time. 